so. I was doing my makeup and I was like, I kind of want to talk as I do my makeup because I'm sitting here and my book's on the desk over here. I have so much to say about this book. And I have the time in the world right now to talk while I'm doing my makeup, so why not do it now? I just wanted to share like a few stories with you guys that take place in this book and like get you to want to take a chance and read my book and see what it can do for you. So here's my book. Backstory of my life so far by me and It's a lot I mean I put a lot out into this book and the hopes that it reaches someone That it could possibly help Like me this writing this book helped me and The person I am now is because I wrote this book It was almost like a journal to me. I got to write everything out put it in the book and just be like, ah, off of my chest. And I hope as you read it, it's almost as if I'm talking to you like I am right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just so excited that it's out. Um, it talks about my family, it talks about friends and friendship breakups and <sighs> gymnastics, school, body positivity body confidence, mental health, all of my struggles, all the things that I went through, oh my god, it just, it tells it all, and not only does it just say, I was sad, it tells you why I was sad, how I dealt with it, and how I fixed that issue, it goes through it all, it talks about, mainly, I mean, the whole book is just like, my DNA, it is just everything. Everything that matters to me is in this book. And you guys being able to like read the things that I went through and my issues um, hopefully shows you that you're not alone and that there's other people out there going through the same stuff as you. And I kind of give you what I did to resolve that issue. And not all of my issues are going to go away just like that. But in that moment, how I was feeling, not good. So what did I do to resolve it? And that is what is in this book. But there are a couple stories in here that I just want to share. Maybe get you guys to want to read and take a chance with this book and see if it can help you. I'm doing my brows. Kind of just like stopped halfway through to do my makeup, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but I had a lot of questions from people that literally have already finished reading my book. Like how? But I saw some questions on it. Um, and I'm just gonna do a couple. I'm gonna do, I talk about my gymnastics a lot. I mean, you guys were with me when I quit. Not quit, retired. I didn't really have a choice. I did have a choice, but it was like a six months different choice. So, retired from gymnastics, the thing that was helping me with everything, just right out of the picture, right out of my life, just like that. Um, and... I kind of started talking more about gymnastics after I broke my back, but no one really knows anything that happened before. And there's one specific story that really anytime I bring it up, I might start crying. So we'll see because I'm doing my makeup. Maybe I'll be able to hold back my tears, but we will see. <laughs> um, I was always moving gyms while being in gymnastics because we were moving houses a lot to be like closer to family and um i finally you know got to this gym that i really really loved i was like level 
six, I think at the time. Like level six, training seven or something like that. I don't exactly remember. I try to forget. Um, but I was there for a really long time. Had the like some of the best friendships that I've ever made in gymnastics. <sighs> there. Had a really good bond with the coaches. Focus on my face. There you go. Just like a really good gym overall. Something bad happened at that gym um, with the head coach and um, it really put a lot of the gymnasts in danger, so to say, and he ended up getting arrested. And the day that that happened, I was, you know, in school, so as everyone else was, my parents didn't want me to hear about it from someone else so they came down and pulled me out of school to tell me and they were just like this happened and we need to move gyms and that needs to happen today and i was like bawling my eyes out i was like okay okay that's what i wanted to hear that's what i wanted to hear yes so then um I'm trying out, you know, at gyms, and the feeling of going to a gym after that situation happened, and the way that everyone knew what happened at your old gym, just the look on people's faces. I mean, it was one of the worst feelings ever. I hope that no one has to go through that situation, ever. Like, ever. Um, but it was just like a really, really hard transition and it was hard answering people's questions the whole time while I'm trying out. Like, I'm here, like, gymnastics was my escape from, you know, the hard parts of life. And for gymnastics to become one of those hard parts of life was very hard, but it did you know, level out. Um, anyways, so that's that one. <laughs> and I didn't really want to put that one in the book, but I feel like it's just very important to, you know, show everyone that stuff goes wrong. And the only thing that matters after that is a person you become. It's still, I mean, it's still so hard to talk about because it's just, gymnastics is the love of my life. And I wish I could go back, but if I went back to gymnastics, I wouldn't be where I am today. And so that is why I say everything happens for a reason. But that was before I was stressing out about social media and getting all these hate comments and dealing with people commenting on my body and the way that I look. That was before all of that. And I talk about how I got through that situation in which a lot of you can relate more to because a lot of you aren't on social media like I am. You aren't posting your life on social media and this was how I got over that situation without using social media to kind of escape that situation. There's my sad story. It's all, it's in the book in detail, so if you guys want to maybe cry with me next time. I'm sorry. Next, one of the things that I got to do with my book is let my friends and family be involved and speak as well, which was very fun and made me very happy getting to hear what they all think about me. <laughs> And what they all said and reading their stories made me bawl my eyes out. I don't even wanna I don't even tell you. you just you guys have to read it to understand. I mean read it as if you're me and see why I bawled my eyes out because my friends are too nice, my family is too nice. What is on my fingers? How did I get there? It was just oh my god. It was so cute. Oh my gosh, I really just got stuff all over my hands and I don't know where from. But, um, 
the people that are in this book are just some of my mains. <laughs> I mean, there's a little photo section in the middle as well to just really show off, um, show off those really friggin' sweet people. <laughs> I didn't expect for all the people that I asked to be in the book to say yes, just because I know people don't really like talking about things kind of like that. I mean, they had to talk and pull up some memories to um, make this book with me. But I just want to thank everyone that helped make this book be a thing. I'm almost done here with my makeup. It's just very light. I'm not doing much today. I mean, I've been traveling a bunch and I'm kind of still jet lagged from literally traveling back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But, but I literally cannot talk and do this at the same time. What is it? Uh, stay focused on my face. This lighting just makes it look all off. But last, last little thing. Last thing is I hope that this book reaches the people that want help because I really do think talking about your issues, reading about people that go through the same things and deal with the same things, I, I think that genuinely helps and I hope that me putting a lot more out there than I want could really help. I don't know, a couple of you, I don't really know, but just, you know, if you do get a hold of my book, please let me know how I did and if the book in any way inspired or motivated or helped you. But yeah, I mean, I could go through the whole book and cry and laugh and smile and get angry with you guys, but I really want you to have a chance to just sit there and experience reading it and, you know, dive deep into my life and, I don't know, I think you guys deserved, I think you guys deserve to hear more about me because you guys do do a lot for me and I just said do do. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm awkward so I don't really know what else to say but anyone out there that's like why would you want to buy a book from an 18 year old girl that's a TikToker. Um, I mean I don't think your opinion is valid until you read the book so if you guys out there can't you you just hate me you just like really hate me for some reason and you just you want to find a reason and be like I hate Avani because of this there could be a reason in this book this book in here in here could give you your answer on why you hate me, but you have to read it. You just have to read it. And if you don't read it and you're like, that book sucks, no it doesn't. Anyways, <laughs> I love you guys so much. Um, I'll probably do a Q&A on the book later on, but I want to give you guys time to read it and just, you know, get to experience it without me like nagging you on and talking through the whole thing. But yeah, all of the places that you can purchase my book are down below in the description with all the links, everywhere you can go for it. And if you do receive my book, post it on your story, TikTok, Twitter, anything, and just put hashtag Yvonne Greg backstory. I will be following people back. I'll be reading how, I'll be reading your guys' thoughts on it, talking to you all. But yeah, um, this was a very exciting moment for me, and I hope I can live this out with you guys. So thank you, Bebs, for making this happen, and I love you. <laughs>